So I've been trying to make this video for the longest time. And to be honest, my computer hates me. That's really what's going on. So let's try this again. I want to talk about how to fix Star Wars. Not the old one, not the original one. They're good. I'm sorry, prequels suck. Let's talk about the new stuff that came out. Especially after uh, John Boyega came out. I talked about how he got screwed. And to be honest, he did get screwed. I mean, I kind of slightly knew it um, through The Force Awakens. And I had high hopes for The Last Jedi, even though I loved that movie. After watching the deleted scenes, I saw how much they screwed him over. But then that last movie, The Rise of Skywalker, is complete trash. And they just did him so dirty in that. So let's try to fix this. Uh, for this video, I'm just going to do the first movie. Not going to say much. Not going to be long. Uh, tried. But my editing program won't start. So we're just going to do a Zoom meeting. And I'm posting on uh, YouTube. Uh, so let's be clear. What is the actual story about these uh, of, um, of The Force Awakens? It's simple. It's a story of a guy who hates his job, a girl who's complacent with her job, and a guy whose grandfather is better at his job. It's about a job. To understand these characters better, to make them better, well, to be honest, I think Ray's fine. Leave her alone. She's a fangirl who finally figured out she had powers. Basically, if you were a fanboy of Dragon Ball Z and then realized you were a Saiyan, you do the exact same thing that Ray did. Kylo's fine with a few exceptions that needs to be changed. He's got a fuzzy on his ear, on his face. Finn is the problem. There's a video uh, called the Stormtrooper Paradox by Pop, was it Pop Culture Detective? Now, normally I don't like most of his videos. I think he overthinks a few things. But in this one case, I think he was right about The Force Awakens. In the, the idea is here's a trooper who at the first sight of war and the fact that his brother and is dead, uh, he freaks and panics, but within minutes of leaving, he randomly shoots up a whole bunch of people, his own soldiers, his own, uh, brothers and sisters, I should say. Um, he's perfectly fine shooting up troopers and that's a problem. So let's use that problem and fix it. So how does the movie start? Simple. Um, oh, before that, let's break down how I create a story. When I create a story, uh, I don't split the second act into two. I don't believe in the whole rise to, uh, what is it? Conflict thing and I don't know. I don't know how they always do it. It's kind of, If you focus on that concept of writing a story, you tend to draw a, a draw. You tend to draw out the unneeded uh, problems of a story, right? You have to make it keep it concise and, and how do you put it? You have to keep it concise uh, and flow with the actual problem of your story. So what I do is I break it down into, I break down act two into three parts, three shorter parts. So let's talk about the story. Act one, simple. We keep the same. Finn, FN21, 
eight, seven, and that's it. Uh, he's freaking out. He just watched Kylo Ren and a bunch of his own, of uh, his fellow troopers gun down a whole bunch of people. Plus he freaked because he just had a whole bunch of blood spread on his uh, mask. When they get back, um, Finn, or sorry, FN218, panics and Phasma shows up and says, uh, hey, we need to talk. And he's like, oh, crap, in his head. For him, he's got a shitty job. He needs to get out. On the planet, Ray, she's kind of content in her job. She gets to run, rummage around a bunch of old chips, uh, geeking out over the old tech. And uh, when she comes back, she sits down, across the, uh, sitting at the table, and cleans scrap. And in, the, in, in a way, when she looks across the table and sees that old lady, it's just a mirror. This is what you're going to be for the rest of your life. Hope you're happy with it. And of course, it's scrap for food, not really anything else. But the only good thing she's got is her Star Wars uh, swag. She's got her helmet. She's got her little knitted doll of the Rebels, and everything's great. She's content. Kylo, on the other hand, is constantly reminded that he is not his grandfather. He's not Vader, even with a stupid little mask on him. He is not Vader. As much as he tries, he's not as cool, calm, or collected. He's the complete opposite. He's a madman. Well, he's unhinged. Let's put it that way. Everything changes when Poe, oh, and sorry, when Ray, uh, Finn tries to escape with Poe. And here's the first change. They agree, and they jump onto the spaceship. All right, they jump onto the uh, TIE fighter. Sorry, spaceship. <laughs> they jump onto the TIE fighter, and the very first thing that happens is when he's told by Poe to shoot everyone in the hangar, Finn panics for a split second. He has a panic attack. He can't do it. So what he tries to do is find other things that can happen. Uh, in this short split second he starts shooting around the troopers blowing up transformers uh shooting off ship parts whatever possible thing you can do to avoid killing people he's known all of his life he's not willing to kill he wants to be a pacifist he doesn't know it yet but he's playing like a pacifist they escape but they get shot down Meanwhile, Ray finds a BB unit, BB-8 unit, and they become friends. She thinks about it, and she's like, huh, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you are. Well, I know what you are, but you're cool. You're missing your friend. I don't know. I'll help you out. When offered for a huge portion of rations to sell the BB-8 unit, She's like, uh, no. Yeah, no. Sorry. Oh, well. In the midst of that, that little choice, that decision to save a BB-8 unit ends up getting her jumped by a bunch of guys. Now, this, by this point, Finn is now on the planet he stripped off everything that is Stormtrooper and now sporting Poe's jacket. And he sees this whole shenanigans right here. He tries to help, but like the movie goes, Ray does exactly what she needs to. She's fine. She can handle herself. No problem. She's a desert kid. She's been on her own. She's fine. But... BB-8 notices the jacket. She jumps him. He tries to explain himself and tells, and basically does a good job. Sorry. I lost Poe. We escaped. 
Oh yeah. Uh, 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 and he lies. I'm a, I'm part of resistance. What? And in doing so, stormtroopers show up. They start getting attacked. Uh, they try to get off planet and steal the Falcon. Now, after that's done, they uh, meet each other. Hey, I'm Ray. I'm Finn. Hey, I'm Ray. Done. Act one's complete. Act one ends with the problem. We just lost our jobs. Finn quit. Raid escaped. Oh, yes, I forgot. As they're flying in the, in the ship trying to escape the planet. As they're flying around in the Falcon trying to escape the planet. Uh, we reinforce the pacifist and Finn again. He has the ability to shoot a tie, a tie fighter, knowing that if he does, he kills them. So he finds every he finds debris and starts shooting that instead, or kicking up dust, whatever possible to knock the the, the tie fighter out of the sky without destroying it. Again, pacifist. Now, Act Two. A. They are now jobless, floating in a ship in space. And the very first thing that really comes up is, what do we do about the BB-8 unit? It's saying it has a map, it needs to go to the resistance, blah, 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 blah. Ray is like, I need to get back to my job. This is ridiculous. I need to go back to my job, wait for my family. Finn, on the other hand, is like, uh, no, we don't need to go back. Uh, we'll find a resistance even though I don't know how to get there. I can't go back to where I've been. I can't go back to my job. On the side, he's trying to save his job. Uh, all of a sudden, they're captured by, by Han. Yay, they go through a full fun little thing about uh, mobsters that Han owes money to and all this other nonsense. But in the end, um, it's resolved. It's kind of just a little romp about, you know, finding Han, finding someone who knows how to get the resistance. That's it. So we keep all of that. That's fine. And if he shoots anyone, he doesn't. Just, just mentioning. Act two, B. After talking to Han and understanding that the BB-8 unit has a map to Luke, Ray perks up. Ooh. The fangirl kicks in. Luke, it's real. The force, everything. <gasps> Amazing. And Han decides, hey, let's just take off to uh, my friend Maz and we'll talk about, we'll see what we can do about the the map and how to get back to the resistance. They show up and act two B is all about facing your choices, uh, facing reality. When they get into the bar and they meet Maz, Maz sits them all down. And the first thing she does is talk about facing the first order, facing your old job. You have to risk, you have to fight it. You have to confront it. And he's like, uh, nope. No, I'm out. Bye. Ray tries to talk him out of it. And Finn's whole thing is like, look, I've been lying to you. I'm a stormtrooper. I know the, what they do. I know how horrible they are. I'm out. I don't want any part of this. Finn, it's gone. Ray, in the midst of all this, hears a whisper of the force and falls it down into the basement where she finds a lightsaber. And she picks it up and sees everything. Luke's past, her past, the struggle of Kylo, all this nonsense. And she drops it and Maz is like, this is your destiny. You have to let go of your past 
and move forward. No, no, I, I need to go back to my job. I need to go back to my simple life. This is nuts. And she runs off. Around then, they get attacked. Both of them are now out of the building. Ray's off in the woods. Finn's trying to get onto the transport. The place gets attacked. And Finn, freaking out, trying to find Ray, runs back. And finds... He, he runs back. And the thing is, again, we're playing up the pacifist side. So as he's running back, Stormtrooper's uh, dropping down and attacking everything. He's dodging everything possible. He's sneaking around, not as a coward, just sneaking to try to get to the new friends. When he finds them, uh, he only finds Han, Maz, and Chewie. They give him a lightsaber. Maz turns to Finn, go find Rey. And that's it. Oh, well, yeah, we can throw in the line. You have a weapon, blah, blah, blah. So he runs off. And the first trooper he goes up against, you know that trooper that he goes up against. He lights up the lightsaber and starts fighting the trooper. But when he lights up this lightsaber, the training kicks in. Muscle memory kicks in. And he turns the lightsaber on and just fights like a uh, a stormtrooper. And at the very end, stabs the first trooper. This is his first death in the movie. This is his first uh, kill in the movie, I should say. It freaks him out. So much so that his heart pan- uh, starts beating. And just like in the very beginning of the movie, where everything is muted, everything's just a blur, he is just lost in himself. Until the second trooper screams, traitor. And Finn goes on defensive. He snaps and he starts fighting, but he doesn't snap in the bad way. He snaps in the, no, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry, but I couldn't. And he's like kind of begging, fighting at the same time. And in the end, he wins. uh, In the end, Han shoots the trooper. So this is the baton trooper fight. He runs up to the trooper who's got shot in by Han. In a way, whispers, I'm sorry, and picks up the trooper's shield. Now he's got a shield and a sword. He is now different. He runs into the battle. And his entire fight for the rest of this fight, this attack, is blocking, disarming. Blocking, disarming, disarming, blocking, disarming. Uh, Think... Think like uh, there's an episode in Samurai Jack where he's just grabbing shields and blocking and disarming, stopping uh, zombies in a graveyard. Same kind of counts out. He runs in, blocks, attacks. He knows this. He's trained like this since he was a kid. Right? Meanwhile, Ray is just captured. Done. She tries to fight. But can't. And as he captures her, he reads her mind, notices, oh, hey, you've got the map. Oh, I don't need to be the alien anymore. Grab her, take off. As the resistance comes in to save, save them. Uh, the first order vanishes, it goes. And yeah, the first order goes with Ray. BB 8 shows up to the rest of them. And now Finn is panicking. I have to get Ray. I have to save her. Act two. C. This is kind of the qualifications. This is your uh, introduction to the new job. Welcome to the new job. Uh, Ray's brought back to the uh, to resistance. His new job, in a way. This is where everyone meet, uh, meets up with each other. They're reunited. Finn finds Poe and reunites with him. And Finn okay, uh, Poe okays the jacket. Um, let's see. 
Han meets up with Leia. Uh, and they mention the fact that uh, Kylo is their son. Uh, BB-8 meets up with uh, R2, who's knocked out. And Chewie has a moment with a nurse. Yeah. Oh, Chewie. So, in this moment, Leia is kind of talking up the credentials of Poe. Uh, sorry, of Finn. Uh, you did a good job. You saved uh, Poe, blah, 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 your asset. And he's like, thanks for the resume boost, but we have to go save my friend. And I'll tell you everything I know about the base, the circular base. Ray, on the other hand, is strapped to a chair, uh, trying to get, uh, she's strapped to a chair with Kylo using his force powers. Ooh. Wait, let's go the other way. Using his force powers to try and get her into her mind. Now, he uses all, uh, he uses her emotions to, against her. You're playing up the family, uh, abandonment, everything. But when he tries to go deeper, she recognizes the fact that she's strong enough to read his mind and then uses the concept of, well, grandfather issues, which makes him storm off, obviously. She just showed her resume. Now she realizes she has a, has a new job. In doing so, she uses those powers to get out. You know, the fangirl in her kicks in, knowing everything about the Force and Luke and all those other stuff from the past. She pretends, she tries. Now that I have the Force, let me try and use it. And she gets out and gets away. New job. Act three. Act three is the attack on Starkiller Base. Uh, it's already agreed that Finn, Han, and Chewie will fly in, uh, drop down on the planet, while Poe and the rest of the fighters come in to try and take out the uh, installation Precinct 47. Um, when they fly into the ship, uh, into the planet, they kind of not crash, but crash on the planet and run out. As they run up close to a uh, precinct, uh, Han asks, like, what are we going to do? And he, Finn, in this one fix that saves Finn from J.J. J. Abrams' crap, he says, I used to be a prison guard, not a janitor. Because a prison guard being activated makes more sense than a janitor being activated for a stormtrooper. Yeah. J.J. Abrams is the one who screwed Finn over first. Now, in saying that, Han says, uh, but a prison guard has nothing to do with his shields. And he turns to Han, to Han and like, well, how the hell do you know that? And Han looks at Chewie and they're like, well, yeah. I just know. But um, there's your joke. Not the janitor joke. Stupid. They'll make their way through the precinct. Finn now holding two guns because that big, dumb gun that he was given is stupid. Using two guns and disarming everyone, shooting in the hands, whatever he can, shooting in the legs, whatever he could do to not kill. Meanwhile, Han and Chewie can do whatever they want. Um, they make their way to the Phasma, grab Phasma, and force her to lower the shields. Meanwhile, Ray makes her way to the hangar and tries to get out, but can't. But knowing her, using her knowledge of scrapping old uh, Imperial stuff, uh, ships, she knows the little crevices and stuff, and she goes down the, just like the movies, just like in the movie, she crawls down and hides in the, in the units. 
after blowing the shields, Finn tries to talk. Uh, I tries to. One second. <laughs> 